Hi, in this video, we want to walk you through Xilinx's latest cost-optimized portfolio of FPGAs and SOCs. And even if you're already familiar with these, we'll also go through the latest enhancements. The goal here is so you can determine if and what family or families could be the right fit for what you're trying to do. Not only that, but we want to show you how you can take advantage of the scalability of the portfolio, from the most cost-optimized FPGAs to the most capable low-cost SOCs. And the challenge is always in identifying a low-cost solution that is exactly what you're looking for, something that doesn't come up too short in meeting your requirements, and something that's not overkill for what you're trying to do. Because one size does not fit every use model, which is why our latest portfolio has diversified even more. Our IO optimized Spartan 6 has been the go-to solution for connectivity, and our transceiver optimized Arctic 7 is for the higher bandwidth applications for both serial IO throughput and signal processing bandwidth. With the system optimized Zinc 7000, you get a full-on ARM class SOC platform. So from connectivity to full SOC integration, you have a range of use models. And what we've done recently is enhance the portfolio across the board for lower cost entry points at every level. For Spartan 6, we extended tool support so you can design for one of the lowest cost devices on the most current OSs like Windows 10. And for Arctic 7, we added two lower density devices for even greater cost effectiveness and a high bandwidth FPGA. And now in Zinc, we're giving embedded designers a single core option, which complements our whole ARM-based SOC platform from single core to dual to multi-core. But perhaps the biggest enhancement is the new Spartan 7 family. Along with Spartan 6, it's lowest cost connectivity FPGA, but as a 28 nanometer 7 series family, Spartan 7 more than doubles the performance per watt and benefits from Vovato tool support, so you can take advantage of all of Xilinx's latest integration and implementation features. What you'll find is that as you scale up within the portfolio, you get increasing integration and increasing capability. For example, Spartan 6 and 7 are the most cost-effective ways to connect any chip to any interface and any media to any system, or what's called quote-unquote any-to-any connectivity. This includes connecting any analog or digital sensor for scalable sensor fusion and data acquisition. And with the 7 series fabric, you get the horsepower for real-time precision control, video and image processing, particularly with Artix, and the next level of hardware and software safety and security in both the FPGAs and SOCs. Zinc gives you that ARM class system for running rich, robust operating systems for higher end analytics and secured cloud connectivity. So it all depends on your own application and to what degree you want to make the device part or all the system. So let's walk through each of these families in a little more detail. Spartan 6 has the longest history in the portfolio, proven many times over in real world applications and within a larger platform is ideal for bridging an I.O. expansion with extremely high I.O. ratios and support for over 40 protocols. At 45 nanometers, it's a well-established silicon process with the highest performance per watt in its class. And as we said, great for any-to-any -any connectivity and sensor fusion. And with a capable performance and power profile, it's still a very capable engine for algorithm acceleration. And as far as the Spartan class families are concerned, if you need something now, Spartan 6 is your device. It's shipping in volume with short lead times and is the IO connectivity family of choice if you need to start implementing immediately. It's been so successful that we've extended the lifecycle support and now support the ICE tool suite on Windows 10 and CentOS Linux so new design starts can leverage the latest compute OS platforms. For the next level up in connectivity, the new Spartan 7 is the IO optimized FPGA of choice. At half the power of Spartan 6 and 30% more FMAX, you get 2.5x greater performance per watt. It's also now the world's smallest 28 nanometer FPGA, coming in at 8x8 packaging. Because of that, it's probably the most capable ASSP or ASIC companion chip you'll find to either expand the system's IOs or bridge incompatible interfaces. It's also a great device for any-to-any -any connectivity and scalable sensor fusion with even more LVDS I.O. performance than Spartan 6. With proven 7 series fabric, it can be great for real-time precision control and acceleration of really any custom algorithm. But one of the biggest advantages is the support that comes with our Vivado tool suite, which is a well-established ASIC class design environment 
with not just a vast library of proven IP cores, but also a drag and drop integration methodology to quickly complete your designs. And that's one of the key things for these kinds of applications is that quick design closure and bring up for what are typically tighter schedules and smaller market windows. RTX 7, put simply, is the performance and bandwidth FPGA. The biggest differentiator in the portfolio is its transceivers. Note that Spartan 7 does not have transceivers, so if you need high-speed serial I.O., RTX is likely the way to go. As far as the rest of the industry, 6.6 gigs is the fastest line rate in a low-cost device. So in terms of any-to-any -any connectivity, RTX 7 opens you up to more protocol support. If you need things like PCI Express Gen 2 or USB 3.0, you're going to need at least an RTX 7. And if your application is image or video processing heavy, RTX may also be a better fit. It easily has the highest DSP bandwidth in a programmable device in its class, and by nature of the hardware, it's much more efficient than a discrete DSP chip, in some cases 20x in terms of parallelized throughput. Now, new to the family are two low-density devices at 12 and 25,000 logic cells, giving an even lower cost entry point into high-performance transceiver FPGAs. And that can be footprint migratable to 50,000 logic cell devices. In short, Arctix is a low-cost FPGA with higher-end performance. If you need serial protocols like the ones here, or your algorithms are signal processing heavy, you'd probably look at an Arctix first. But if you need a robust processor that's ARM class that can run Linux applications with rich software stacks, Zinc is likely the family of choice. If you're not already familiar with it, it's a complete ARM processing subsystem with a Cortex-A9, on-chip memory, and hardened peripherals. And the best family in the portfolio for heavier analytics and secured cloud connectivity. The big thing about Zinc is the tightly integrated FPGA programmable logic through virtually 3,000 interconnects. In other words, more connectivity than you'd ever get from a chip-to-chip -chip implementation of a processor next to an FPGA. And gives you the most integration in the portfolio that can perform ASSP, FPGA, DSP, and even AMS multi-chip functionality onto a single device. And even if you're just trying to get more performance than a standard processor can deliver, the programmable logic is ideal for moving C, C++ functions in hardware for acceleration. Our high-level synthesis tools make that easier to drag and drop functions for non-FPGA designers. The latest addition to Zinc is the new single-core variation, the Zinc 7000S. Up until now, Zinc has been available only in dual-core. And we've added the single-core because we've recognized that not everyone needs the horsepower of a dual-core or feel that their current design can take advantage of it. However, Zinc can give you a multi-core processing growth path for future or derivative designs. In fact, if you want to go beyond the dual-core A9, you can go to Zinc Ultrascale Plus, which is on 60 nanometer FinFET, for either a dual or quad-core A53, along with other heterogeneous processing engines. With this scalability, you can benefit from the same fundamental environment and programmable logic and ecosystem, and maintain things like memory coherence across processors and FPGA fabric. But the best silicon doesn't mean much without capable tools and methodologies. The Vovato design suite has really shattered what we call the RTL productivity plateau at multiple levels. With Vovato, we introduced the industry's first plug-and-play IP integration environment, where you can work at the interface level, not the signal level, of your IP building blocks to put together a system intuitively and quickly. And we integrated high-level synthesis, or HLS, for C, C++, System C, and OpenCL to make both IP creation and verification easier for embedded developers. For implementation, we introduced what's called analytical place and route technology for 20% greater utilization than the previous generation tool. So you can use the smallest, lowest cost device possible. Now to empower software and system developers, particularly using Zinc, even beyond HLS, we introduced a suite of software-defined tools known as SDX for Eclipse-based environments familiar to embedded designers. With this, you can design in pure C or C++ or OpenCL and accelerate the function of your choice in the hardware by the click of a button and have the tool compile both the software and hardware code to implement the whole SOC in one go. 
And of equal importance in all this is the ecosystem. It's key to have a vast catalog of third-party options and alternatives to access the best IP and the best software and board of your choice to bring a design to completion as quickly and easily as possible. So as far as identifying the best fit, here's a quick glance at product ranges that might help. At 28 nanometer, Spartan 7 by definition has two and a half times greater performance per watt of Spartan 6 and faster IOs. But Spartan 6 is plenty capable with DDR800 and 3 gig transceivers. Arctic 7 has great scalability from 12,000 to 200,000 logic cells and as we've mentioned, the industry's only 6.6 .6 gig low-cost transceiver FPGA. Zinc is the cost-optimized ARM class SOC with programmable logic based on Arctic 7, so it'll have similar performance metrics as far as the FPGA fabric is concerned. So whether you need I.O. connectivity, high bandwidth, or full-blown SOC integration, Spartan, Arctic, and Zinc give you that scalable range, whether that be for part or all the system. Because at the end of the day, designers want platforms. It's not practical to spend a majority of design time learning new tools and porting IP from previous generation products just because you want to switch device families. And the portfolio we've been talking about tries to do just that, combining silicon architecture, tools, and IP, and ecosystem for that scalable platform. So for more information, go to the portfolio site you see here or the respective family pages. Thank you.